today is July 2nd, 2020. Today is my little pumpkin Koi's birthday. And if you're on my Instagram or her Instagram, you will see the cute little photo shoot I did for her yesterday with her birthday pictures. <music> appointment this morning um well you know i go every week um nine weeks today um, to be um just you know get right into it during my skin um we did have some unfortunate news we didn't hear or see a heartbeat for one of the babies um the other one we heard his heartbeat and it was at like i think 174 which is good so my nurse just told me that my doctor may want to see me back in the office to rescan me so he can confirm it. But he just called me. He wanted me to start my, um, let me get it out. He wanted me to restart my Lovenox today injections. That's for my blood thinners because they had me stop over the weekend and I've had no bleeding in like four days. So that's a good thing. So he had me start that back up and he told me that um, this is pretty normal it's nothing that's normal about it it's called they call it a vanishing twin he said it happens between 25 to 50 percent of all pregnancies so it just depends on i guess who it is where the number would be but he definitely said it's nothing that's not normal he just want me to stay positive you know and i just told him that i'm going to stay positive because as long as i walk away with something i'm grateful and i'm blessed so I still have one baby and I believe I have to check my um, ultrasound, but I believe we lost baby A and baby B is still thriving. So um, I'm officially nine weeks today and he's measuring right at nine weeks. And the baby that I lost was measuring at eight weeks and six days, meaning it just, just happened. Like just happened, obviously yesterday, but um yeah so he just saw me you know continue doing everything i'm doing hang in there stay positive and we just have to watch everything from now and i'm still trying to get an appointment with this OBGYN, but they are saying they're not receiving my medical records so i'm gonna have to go pick them up to get them to turn them in it's just oh my gosh you guys if it's not one thing it's another but i'm still blessed still grateful just praying and trying to stay positive at this point so it sucks but you know um, like i said as long as i walk away with something at the end i'm very grateful because this has been a long journey and that's all i want is a little boy to hold in my arms but yeah so i will keep you guys updated as usual good morning everybody it is about 9 30 in the morning i had to drop um quay off at school this morning and then um, I had to run to the post office to drop something off. I'm in the parking lot right now. I got something to eat. And as you see, I keep these bags in my car. And um, I get real like nauseous in the morning, like real nauseous. And um, I feel like I'm about to throw up now. And it's just, I did probably a handful of times um, early on, but now I'm almost 11 weeks. It seems like it's coming more frequent like especially in the morning like I just feel so bad I don't want to get out of bed because I feel like if I move I'm gonna throw up which usually happens but <laughs> and it just sucks the life out of me because I barely be having anything in my stomach um like if I drink juice or take a couple of bites or something it just and I know I'm gonna do it I'm just trying to like keep it at bay until at least I get home disgusting i know <laughs> well the joys of pregnancy so i'm sitting in a parking lot in the post office i was trying to eat my food and it's not having it right now today is what's today july 15th yeah today's wednesday july 15th have my pajamas on so don't talk about my appearance oh, oh. it's 
feel so sick. But it's all worth it. I would go through anything for my little baby. Had a doctor's appointment yesterday. My ultrasound with my IVF doctor. And um, that's another thing. My nose. Um, I, I'm just really come to accept that I'm going to be having bleed in this pregnancy because it's not going away. <laughs> no matter what we do, I still bleed. Um, sometimes it's kind of like a lot. Sometimes it's not. But I just keep a pad on anyway. Um, and it's all like old blood. You know it's old blood because it's like brown. And whatever, I guess, because it's, I, I don't know. It's related to my nose. Because I'm bleeding down there and then my nose, like I'm bleeding too. Not nose bleeds, but my nose gets, it forms those hard, like, I don't know what you call them, like, barriers, like, around your nostril and inside. And it makes it hard for me to breathe. And I wake up in the middle of the night and it's just like, I can't breathe. I have to, like, get them out, blow my nose or whatever. And they're always, like, bloody. And it be so hard and they just, like, it's just, just extra blood. <laughs> it's driving me crazy but another symptom I guess another symptom um, my ultrasound was good I'm, I will be 11 weeks Friday I was told but he's measuring at 11 weeks so that's good and um, we heard the heartbeat and you can actually see um, baby B actually being like reabsorbed like just disappearing you can still kind of see like the sack a little bit and an outline of him like barely but yeah so he's i guess you know it's doing what it's supposed to do and he's just reabsorbing so i mean it, it's kind of sad because you kind of do wrap your mind around i'm gonna have two babies and kind of you know start looking at like twin stuff and reading up about having twins but, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. And as long as I get a healthy baby at the end of my pregnancy, I'm, I'm blessed whichever way, you know. So, that's that. <sighs> Goodness, this stuff is so nauseous. It's just so much. It just consumes you. I would check back with you guys later um, my next I think my final appointment with my IVF doctor is next week because I will be 12 weeks um, and I made an appointment with an OB but they can't get me until August 19th so hopefully they can get me in sooner they have me on a waiting list because um, I will be pretty far along in and just not meeting your OB is not good. And I've been trying to get in since I was six weeks, you guys. So, trust, it's not me. I didn't wait till last minute. It was the office. But, yeah, so let me go ahead and do this so I can get home because I'm really not feeling good. And I do not want to throw up on camera. So, I will check you guys later. Bye. I'm walking out of my doctor's appointment. Today is, I don't even know the date. 28th, I think. But... It's my last appointment. I graduated today. So I got my little gifts. Oh, you can't even see it, but. Oh, uh, let me sh show you. I got my gifts from them. And it's like onesie. This is new. When I had Koi, I didn't have this. So, oh, I just ripped it. <laughs> But it's so like bittersweet because I was sitting there, I was hugging all the nurses and the um the lady who always takes my blood. It's like you really grow to to know who they are and to really love and appreciate them. So I told them like definitely 
this is not the last of me y'all know i will be back and i want to come up with like little gifts to give them last time when i found out i was having a girl when i was pregnant with koi i came back and brought cupcakes for them but i want to do something um i don't know something more like individual for everybody um it's like four of them that i really that i talk to on a daily basis so it's just i don't know it's exciting um hold on let me get some air because i am hot Okay, so I was like really freaking out nervous. But I got his last ultrasound picture. His heartbeat was 158, I believe. This is chilling. Any other time he be moving. It's his little Buddha. And I'm measuring at 13 weeks. I think I'll be 13 weeks tomorrow or today's Tuesday or Thursday. I don't know. Dr. Griffith always gets like the bad pictures. <laughs> he always gets the worst with the sun pictures. Um, this is new. They give you a card with all their locations and saying congratulations and please come visit us anytime. He definitely said after the pandemic. He wants to see everybody. Um, I used to bring Koi there too, and she came with me my last two IVF cycles, so they definitely see her all the time. But they give you this cute onesie, and they want you to wait till the baby six months, because it's like, I guess it's the size it is six months, and put it on them and um, tag them in the picture, which is brilliant for marketing. Oh, this is new. We got magnets this nutrition kit which is great because i plan on using infamil coupons which these would definitely come in handy definitely need those oh i got a big old ice pack that is awesome when you're out on the road um infant bottles for breastfeeding i'm guessing because how they look and yeah two bottles of infamil I haven't tried the purple one, but this is the one I used for Koi that I really like. That's what they gave me in the hospital too, so it worked out perfectly. And if you're really nice to your nurse in the hospital when you um, deliver, they'll give you a little extra of everything when you go home. Diapers, wipes, milk, all that. So I always be like extra, extra nice. But yeah. And I don't go see my OB until August 19th, which is crazy. You would think for me for a new patient she would want to see me earlier for an ob appointment but i guess she's just really busy but i don't go back until august 19th and the good thing is it's in the same office that my doctor is at my ivf doctor so i was nervous this morning going in just i don't know just nervous but it's still a blessing we had a couple of hurdles so after one miscarriage one pregnancy that was um what did he call it i don't know it wasn't a chemical pregnancy it was i don't know but it just never developed the little space was there where it implanted but it just never developed no sac no nothing and got pregnant with twins this time and unfortunately we lost one along the way when i was eight weeks but it's still a blessing because i still have one baby and that's all i could ever ask for um we're just so excited to welcome him into our family and to just shower him with all the love and he's just gonna be so spoiled and so loved and it's just crazy because i'm just still nervous and i told my doctor that i bought one of those monitors <laughs> And it told me to only use once a week. Like, you know, I wanted to make sure. I was like, is that true? And he was like, yeah. But he was like, honestly, quiet. After everything you've been through, if you want to use it, use it. So <laughs> I'm definitely going to be using it. Um, probably not that often. Probably, I am probably going to do it once a week because um, 
I don't know, just for my own sound mind. Probably not even once a week. It's just, I'm going to be using it until I can go see my OB. Once I go see my OB, I think I will be more comfortable and I have somebody to talk to, to reach out to for like questions and concerns. But right now I have nobody because I've graduated from my IVF clinic and I can't see my OB until the 19th of August, which is like, I think another month. So it sucks, but I gotta do what I gotta do. But yeah, so I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you guys know how it went. Um, little Buddha is okay and healthy. I'm excited. I can go home and relax a little bit. And yeah, so I will keep you guys updated. We graduated today! So exciting. Oh, this has been a long 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 road but i'm just so happy <sighs> but i don't think i'm going to announce it yet i'm um, okay so let's say this week i'll be 13 weeks i don't think i'm announcing until i'm 16 or 18 weeks because i just really want to be like i don't know further along because i'm still kind of like on edge and really not comfortable telling people but yeah you guys but <sighs> been a journey but i'll hit you guys up later and talk to you ciao